Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021, 1.18 p.m. Hi, Ellen. The majority of my interests revolve around considering and designing contexts for learning in higher ed, which seems like a place of opportunity to utilize the dance ed meets cultural studies frame for this research approach. And I'm feeling like I want to get a little weird. What if I were to design an imaginary educational context for adult artists, perhaps for a week-long interdisciplinary survey intensive? Like a residency of sorts, but more like a Black Mountain College vibe. And what if I introduced and discussed it through a cultural studies lens, maybe in the margins? This idea incorporates a distinct set of values and a particularly philosophical base. It seems like it could fit a cultural studies frame. What do you think? Thanks and be well, Justin. February 5th, 2021, 10 a.m. Good morning, Alan. Thank you for the input and the reading suggestions to help frame the work. This is definitely a utopic slash ideal space, subjectively so at least, and one that I'd be interested in seeing through to fruition one day. The values undergirding this educational space are clear to me, and dance slash cultural studies works addressing the systems of power and authoritarian teaching that will be quite useful to support that value set. I'll look into the list of readings you suggested regarding utopia, since none of those ring a bell for me. One quick question. What if, and this is a big what if, I were to write this paper through a cultural studies lens as if it happened, complete with fictional interviews with participants and everything? The method I would propose is that I would complete that dreamy portion of the work first, the rich description of the site, all the goings-ons and offerings, and then I would send that along to various folks in my own network to read. Then they could imagine what it would be like to participate in and supply fictional accounts back to me about their time spent in the intensive. I could then approach it all through that cultural studies lens for the paper as if it actually happened. Let me know if you think this ultra-fictional angle might work for the piece. I'm connecting with the idea of it being a grand thought experiment, which seems to further highlight the utopian nature of the idea. And I'm also drawn to the various subversions of academic processes, too, for better or worse. But regardless of my interest in it, I'm wide open to your thoughts on the matter. Thanks, as always, for your suggestions and insights, and I hope you have a great weekend. Justin. Sanctuary is an unusual artist residency, a place to collect, create, and cooperate. We exist to provide artists with a space for radical thinking, making, and sharing without any expectations. Within this frame, we believe that there is room to innovate, observe, reflect, make with abandon and or purpose, rest up, and commune with others. To design this space and its offerings, we looked to the past for inspiration, for example, Black Mountain College, while moving closer to a desired future for a radical, values-driven, anti-capitalist and cooperative existence, wherein the experience of the individual and the collective are regarded with the same level of attention and care. Sanctuary provides a mix of communal and private spaces and offerings for residents to shape their own days as they wish. This residency is intended as an immersive experience. Artists live, explore, and work in shared spaces. However, each resident has well-appointed private quarters for retreat, reflection, and rest at their discretion. While this residency does have some structure, there is a great deal of freedom for each resident to design a unique and self-determined experience. We celebrate the shared power of the individual in an intentional collective. This, we believe, is a useful path towards equity, shared respect, and agency. To foster the development of an intentional collective at Sanctuary, the practical terms of each residency are set by the participating artists and faculty, with guidance from the small team of Sanctuary staff. On arrival day, the full group of residents and Sanctuary staff will gather to outline the general residency offerings, discuss the various resources and materials, and tour spaces and grounds. From there, the residents will be tasked to collectively determine how the residency will run on a day-to-day experiential level. This includes agreeing upon how the group will come to a consensus. Some resident groups set daily evening meetings to discuss the schedule and roles for the following day, while other groups agreed upon the residency terms for the entire upcoming week on day one. Sanctuary provides opportunities to engage with various aspects of aesthetic philosophies and practices. The embodied, the visual, the sonic, the expressed, and the act of expressing through human and object forms. 
the everyday as art's subject, medium, and object, and designing context for art making and performance. And, and, and. And the list goes on, thanks to you. In a nutshell, Sanctuary is planned for a mix of adult artists, anyone over 18 years of age, with no restrictions on country of residence, art disciplines, or interests. On Offer is a week-long residency for artists to engage in a variety of disciplines as an opportunity for expanding their own artistic practices. Important for your scheduling process is to note that this one-week residency is capped on both ends with arrival and departure days, making the experience nine days total. Each day presents explorations in various disciplines, areas, and points of view. Each of these daily workshops is like a master class, but you are both the teacher and the student. Or perhaps there is space to declare that there are no prescribed rules at all. A residency at Sanctuary is free to all selected artists, 20 slots total, as the entire residency is fully funded. Covered fees include travel to and from the residency, domestic or international, housing costs, short-term medical coverage as needed, three meals a day with allergen accommodations, all activities, both planned and spontaneous, and materials, all provided to the participants at no charge. This residency is designed to cost you nothing but your time. Please alert us if additional funds are needed for you to attend and we will do our best to accommodate. There are seven days of daily workshops for residents. One day could consist of sculpture, collage, film, photography, and visual installation. Another day would be movement, embodied ritual, somatics, movement practice, and bodily performance. Another day could include sounds, listening, making, and field recordings. Another, dramaturgy, spatial installation, designing spaces for artistic activities. And another, expression through spoken text or the use of logos and signs, inhabiting characters, autobiographical work, flexa style performance scores, or performing the human experience. We could also have a day of poetry, prose, journaling, literature, and writing for performance, and maybe even another one exploring daily life as an artistic practice. The selection process for Sanctuary. 20 individual artists will be selected to participate in each residency session. Participant qualification is assessed by a diverse panel of residency faculty, staff, and past residents. We do not assess the highly subjective quality of an artist's body of work in the selection process. Rather, because we are a values-driven residency, we choose participants based on their ability to describe via any written or verbal medium of their choice, their interest in the residency, and their intention to participate in a democratic and fluid teaching, learning, making environment as both an individual and a member of an ephemeral artistic community. Diversity and inclusion are integral to the vision of this residency space. We love feedback from current and past residents. Here are a few things that Sanctuary staff are curious about. What aspects of Sanctuary were you most drawn to when you applied? What discipline or disciplines do you practice? Or what artistic practice or practices do you engage with? A general overview of your time spent in the residency and any daily details you would like to share are something we would love to hear. Were you able to make the residency your own? If so, we would love to know what you did. Do you have any insights into the communal nature of the residency? And do you have any insights into the availability and your use of or for independent time and independent practices? Here are some of the things that past residents say about Sanctuary. The voice of the brochure sounded too perfect, too ideal, like the voices in dystopian movies offering trips to Mars or pleasant brain implants. With all of this stirring up, I knew I must go to Sanctuary. I enjoyed all of the showings and panels held during my week at Sanctuary. Getting to know the visions and ideas of my fellow residents developed bonds that have continued on since my time there. I particularly enjoyed designing the open workshops and interacting with the larger community. Connecting with the larger community at Sanctuary openly reminded me of my ability and the ability in all of us to adapt to widen perspectives and facilitate newness with receptiveness and ease. On a regular basis, I don't get to make art in an atmosphere that allows me to be fully focused or free. 
I'm always battling the restraints of the capitalistic world around me. I was drawn to attending sanctuary because I had a desire for those restraints to become open space in my mind, body, and spirit. While attending, I felt taken care of and regarded in a way that allowed my artistic desires to be front and center, leaving space for me to get reacquainted with the person and artist that I aspire to be, as well as being reacquainted with the work I truly want to make, full of intention and heart. I went into town twice, once to have lunch at the local diner. I had a craving for french fries. The second time to have dinner at the Mexican restaurant with a handful of other residents. No art talk, just being in the space, not as artists on duty. It was wonderful.